It's Storyteller Tammany, and I'm so excited today because it's story time. Yay! That's all that matters. That's why I'm as excited, because I'm here with you guys. All right. I wanted to give you a reminder that summer is coming, and, well, actually, technically, the season of summer is here. And if you are interested in sharing the stories that you love and that you want me to read, I would love to hear it. So I left my email at the description for your parents so they can send your favorite stories because I would love to hear them. And I'm hoping to have a story every day for the summer. Now, I'm not sure what that looks like right now. Right now, I don't have anybody sending me any of their requests or their favorites. And I really feel like that would be so much fun to hear from you guys. But we've got time still, so don't worry. Remember last time we were reading Amelia Bedelia. So we're going to continue with that. And we've got just three more stories of Amelia Bedelia. I'm so excited. Let's get started. Amelia Bedelia and the Cat. I wonder what she's going to do with this cat. I'm sorry, but this cat looks like a tiger. Like a baby tiger. <gasps> Maybe I gave it away. Maybe it's actually a baby tiger. That would be crazy. Mrs. Rogers was in a total tizzy. I'm late for a lunch date, she said, but I must find an umbrella before I go. They say it's going to rain cats and dogs. <laughs> cats and dogs. Goody, said Amelia Bedelia. We'll get a free pet. Would you like a dog or a cat? Oh, neither one, said Mrs. Rogers. All I want is an umbrella. Amelia Bedelia is imagining the actual cats and dogs are coming down from the sky. Here you go, said Amelia Bedelia. She pulled an umbrella out of her purse. Why do you keep it in there? asked Mrs. Rogers. Blame Mr. Rogers, said Amelia Bedelia. He always tells me to save for a rainy day. But an umbrella would be more help than money. Would you like to borrow my rubber boots and rain hat too? Save them for next time, said Mrs. Rogers. Thanks for lending me your umbrella. Some umbrellas are small enough to fit into purses. Not all umbrellas, though. They walked out to the car. Mrs. Rogers got in. I have to go shopping later, said Amelia Bedelia. Really, said Mrs. Rogers. I may run into you. Oh, I hope not, said Amelia Bedelia. It would hurt if you ran into me. Silly Amelia Bedelia, she doesn't understand. I have an idea, said Mrs. Rogers. Why don't I give you a lift and drop you in town? I know why not, said Amelia Bedelia. It's because I'm too heavy for you to lift. You would drop me before we got to town. Mrs. Rogers nodded, smiled, and drove away. Amelia Bedelia walked back to the house. She stood on the porch and gazed at the clouds. I don't know if you can tell, but those clouds have shapes. She's imagining cats and dogs again. Rain, cats, and dogs, she said to herself. The weatherman might be right. That cloud looks like a dog, and that looks like a really big cat. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's not really going to rain cats and dogs. Meow. Yipes, hollered Amelia Bedelia as she jumped back in shock. That cloud just meowed at me. Amelia Bedelia looked down where the sound had come from. If you guys look closely, you can see a cattail. Hmm, said Amelia Bedelia. I have heard of a plant called a cattail, but I have never seen a plant with a cattail. A kitten peeked out from behind the plant. Well, I'll be, said Amelia Bedelia. You're the tiniest kitten I have ever seen. The kitten leaped out of the flowers. It walked over to Amelia Bedelia and rubbed against her leg. There's the kitten. Where's your mama? asked Amelia Bedelia. You are much too little to be out on your own. She picked up the kitten. You look like a tiny tiger, said Amelia Bedelia. She scratched it between its ears. The kitten purred and purred. You even sound like a tiny tiger, said Amelia Bedelia. So tiger is what I'll call you. She took tiger into the kitchen. She poured milk into a saucer. Tiger lapped it up right away. Wow, said Amelia Bedelia, you must have been starving. She offered the kitten half of her sandwich. Tiger turned up his nose. 
Hmm, I need help, said Amelia Bedelia. I have never taken care of a cat before. Well, it's a good idea to get help when you don't know how to care for a pet. Amelia Bedelia got out the phone book. That's something that you guys wouldn't actually understand because we don't really have phone books anymore. And the phone that she's using is not a cell phone. <clears throat> it's, um, well, it is a cordless phone, but it's probably likely a land phone, meaning that it's attached to the house that she lives at. Aha, she said as she dialed the number. These folks know all about animals. A man answered the phone and said, City Zoo, Mr. Lion speaking. Oh, this is amazing, said Amelia Bedea. I have never spoken with a lion. <laughs> She's funny. I'm not a lion, said Mr. Lion. Of course not, said Amelia Bedea. I'm, <clears throat> I'm sure that you tell the truth. I always do, he said. May I help you? I hope so, said Amelia Bedelia. I've got a very hungry tiger right here in my kitchen. Run, said Mr. Lion. Get out of the house. Calm down, said Amelia Bedelia. My tiger is very happy. I just gave him some milk. <laughs> Mr. Lion doesn't understand that it's actually just the name of the, t of the kitten. Milk, said Mr. Lion. Big cats eat meat. You do? said Amelia Bedea. Not me, said Mr. Lion. I'm a vegetarian. You can't be, said Amelia Bedea. You're a lion. I'm not lying, said Mr. Lion. I hope not, said Amelia Bedea. I have a hungry tiger in my lap. Ha, said Mr. Lion. I think you are lying. No, sir, said Amelia Bedea. You are a lion. I am Amelia Bedea. Oh, my goodness. Urgh, roared Mr. Lion. The phone went click. <laughs> oh, well, said Amelia Bedelia, that lion was not much help at all. Next time I'll ask for Mr. Tiger. The kitten still looked hungry. Come along, said Amelia Bedelia, let's go do our shopping. Maybe I can find you something to eat at our store, at the store. So the reason that there was so much confusion with Mr. Lion and Amelia Bedelia is that Amelia Bedelia thought she was really talking to a lion, and Mr. Lion thought that Amelia Bedelia was calling him a liar. <laughs> on and on they went. All the silliness. She tucked Tiger into her purse, locked the door, and headed into town. Along the way, Amelia Bedelia met a letter carrier delivering packages. Good afternoon, he said. Looks like you're delivering cats. Oh no, said Amelia Bedelia. I'm trying to deliver lunch to this hungry kitten. Oh, you're in luck, said the letter carrier. A new fish market just opened up. All cats love to eat fish. Where is it? said Amelia Bedelia. You can't miss it, he said. Just follow your nose. Thank you, said Amelia Bedelia. As she walked, she said to herself, Those are very strange directions. I follow my nose wherever I, everywhere I go, unless I walk backward. <laughs> oh. oh, James.